all repertories have some strength, all repertories have some weaknesses. So today we will be referring both the strengths and the weaknesses. What is repertory? Repertory is basically an index of homeopathic materia medica. Why did it start? Because you know there were thousands and thousands of symptoms which were impossible for somebody to remember. And what is the difference? There is a gradation which is given, which is not normally given in Materia Medica. Okay, can you tell me which Materia Medica has got gradations inside? Let's see how much of knowledge you have. Kent. Kent, Kent Materia Medica, does it have gradations? Huh? Not repertory, we are not talking of repertory. Which Materia Medica? How? In Materia Medica, they have represented gradations and which are the Materia Medica which are predominantly marked out? Yes. So, first is in Allen, most simple. Allen has got marked that red line symptom. Okay. In Boric, how is it done? In italics. Italics. Herring has given the lines in front of it. If you see, based on that double bar, single bar, thin bar, huh? yeah. that is how they have given gradations. In same way, in Allen's encyclopedia, there are gradations. So, when you see these gradations, you are able to understand okay, how beautifully that symptom has been proved or it has been found clinically. Repertory has got everything which is graded and beautifully organized. See, if you have to find one symptom in Materia Medica, do you think you will be able to find it? It is impossible. While in repertory, it is systematically indexed, so you can find it. Now, what Pierre Schmidt says, no one can know everything. And this is why, in all honesty, one must admit that no conscientious homeopathic doctor can practice homeopathy in a serious and really scientific way without a repertory. You must have seen lot of doctors, ah, my brain, it knows everything. No. Brain has got limited number of capacity, that is 50,000 facts you can remember. What does he say? Nobody can really scientifically practice homeopathy if he doesn't use the repertory. Prescribing in homeopathy is both science and art. See how beautifully Fatak has conceived. But it is a difficult art. Good take case taking, sound knowledge and sound knowledge of materia medic and skillful use of reference books are the prerequisites. See how beautifully he has defined what is homeopathic practice. If you have to practice in a proper way, you know, good case taking, then sound knowledge of materia medica and skillful use of the reference books is absolutely essential to practice homeopathy. Uses of repertory. Now, we will just generally understand what are the, because there will be some questions you will ask. To find out similimum, the most important and the core use is to find out similimum and differentiate closely related remedies. Not only just find out similimum, but also differentiate closely related remedy. Basically, it can help you to study even materia medica. How does it help to study Materia Medica? You study the single drug. You do the comparative study using repertory. You study and differentiate the different grades of the drugs. Single remedy rubrics, okay. Compare and contrast the remedies. Very easy. It can be used as a reference book. Now suppose if you want to refer some point, you can use it as a reference book. It modifies the case receiving. Suppose if you are thinking of some remedy, if you are thinking in a case, say maybe um, Sabal Saruleta, there was a very interesting case I had uh, recently with eczema. Now normally the eczema and peeling of skin of the feet and hands come in which weather normally? Winter. Winter. Huh? Normally it comes in winter. Now this particular child developed severe cracks in summer. Now I took the case, took the case, understood the case, but it was very difficult to prescribe. At this stage, when the patient I examined, I asked the 
mother. I said, when did you develop this? Only this summer. Now, because of summer, if this cracks have come, you know, it modifies your view. And what happened? We gave a simple remedy, Sarsa Parila, which helped the patient to recover. Because if it comes in winter, it is petroleum. If it comes in summer, it is Sarsa Parila. Okay? So it becomes a reference book, modifies the case re receiving, study of remedy relationship. Suppose if you are studying the remedies which are related with, say, grief. Now, in grief, you get a different group. If you study silent grief, you get totally different group. You understand? What do you mean by silent grief? Not suppressed. Ah, unexpressed. Silently, she doesn't tell anybody. You know, mother is dead. She has not cried. She has not told anybody. She has not shared anything. She had a business loss. She has not shared with anybody. That is silent grief. You know, suffering within. Now, the remedies are totally different if you study the group. Now, if with silent grief, if there is an expression, occasional expression, like sighing, what will happen? Ignatiac becomes the remedy. You know, how you are able to correlate small, small points and come to the prescription much faster. Okay? Then it becomes very important for cross-references, the themes. Like, suppose if you say courageous as a rubric, huh? you take up a symptom as a courageous or a theme as a courageous. What will you say? Audacity. Huh? Takes decision fast. You know? Uh, huh? Sorry? Huh. So all these symptoms you can refer one point, you know, just opposite. And when you study this, if you study cowardice, you will get totally different group of remedies, different cross-references, lack of confidence, you know, cannot communicate eye to eye. There are a lot of things. And if you study what will, what will you find? There are two group of remedies which are totally different. But there will be beauty, you will see. There will be some remedies which will intersect. There will be some remedies which will be common both to cavities and both to courageous. So then you can understand that when a case comes which has got both the expressions, cavities as well as courageous, you have a totally different group. Huh? Are you able to see the points? Why? Okay. Conducting interview. Like suppose if you are coming to a group of medicine and then you are not sure. Then you open the repertory. You see there are three, four points. Okay. Which are very, you know, you are coming close to maybe silica and then maybe you are coming close to hepatitis. Both are chilly. Both have got infection. Both have got shy personality. Now you want to refer some more point. Go a little bit more deep into it. So that is why it helps in conducting the interview. Confirm rare symptoms and exact symptoms. You know, th there was a beautiful case which was narrated by Dr. Mahindra Singh, you know, one who is, whom you, whose book you have referred in philosophy. He said, B Dr. B.K. Bose came across a beautiful case where the patient had green menses. Now, till that time, nobody knew that such rubric exist in our repertory or materia medica. Fortunately, they searched for it, menses green, and they were shocked. There were half a dozen remedies in front of them. Huh? So sometimes confirming the rare symptoms. Now, if you had to find out from the materia medica, green menses, huh? <laughs> you'll go gray through. Huh? Simple. Now, what is the, I'm just giving little